Starting on our next dish, we are making an onion quiche. I'm gonna make them in little miniature pans today because we're celebrating Jamie and Brooke's wedding anniversary. So I want everything bite size and just the perfect finger food. And I'm gonna melt two tablespoons of butter and I'm gonna add one cup of chopped green onion tops. And I'm gonna just saute those in that butter not until brown, but just kind of soft, almost tender. Now, while these are sauteing, I'm gonna move over here and show you how I make the crust. Now, I'm gonna take uh, a handful of salted crackers and I'm gonna crush those up. I should wind up with about three-fourths of a cup of crumbs. And in my bowl, I have four tablespoons of melted butter. And I'm just gonna pour the crumbs into that. And we're gonna just mix those up. They're gonna make just the perfect crust. I'm gonna give it a quick spray so they'll be easy for me to get out without tearing them up. All right, so just a few crumbs. All right, so we're just gonna divide this among our little muffin tins. Okay, now I'm just gonna come back and press these in the bottom of the pan. All right, in fact, I wish I could come up with a little tool to mash this down. I bet a shot glass would. I bet a shot glass would fit it perfectly. Let's see. Yeah! <laughs> I knew there was something in this kitchen that would make that a little bit easier. Oh, it's working nicely. All right, now we're gonna take two eggs. All right, now to our two eggs, I'm gonna add one cup of grated Swiss cheese. I'm gonna add a little salt, a little fresh ground black pepper. I'm gonna kind of give those eggs just a little beat. And now I'm gonna add one cup of milk. The Swiss is better in here than like a cheddar or an American. The Swiss just gives it a nice little pungent flavor. I'm gonna take our green onions and I'm gonna divide them evenly among our crust. And it, if it is Vidalia season, and you can use those, you know, they won't give you the pretty color that a green onion will, but you can always add a little green onion tops to the Vidalia. All I'm doing now is taking our filling and filling our cups. Brooke was so beautiful. She looked, she looked like a princess. She was prettier than any movie star I've ever seen. And her bridesmaids, oh my goodness, they were equally as beautiful and precious. And one time I looked over there at the chocolate fountain and all you could see was this beautiful white dress surrounded by a bunch of mango colored dresses and those were her bridesmaids and i told those girls when i saw them i said y'all are pure lickable y'all are the prettiest things i think i've ever seen and all the girls had just this gorgeous golden tan and that shrimpy mango color of their dresses they were just precious all gathered around that chocolate fountain. Oh, so anyway, I could tell story after story, but we got to get all this food cooked because they'll be here before I know it. 
All right, so I'm gonna put our little pies in a 300 degree oven and I'm gonna let these bake for about 15 or 20 minutes. And in they go. All right, y'all, our onion quiche are ready. Oh my goodness, they're just popped up real, real high. Look how pretty those are. Aren't those just great? I hope they don't fall too, too much. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this blast from the past, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all. <laughs>